Now, at the Olympics in Beijing, the British boxers came home with a glorious three-medal haul. Now, our very own James DeGale, he won the gold, spectacular gold. Six-foot-seven-inch scouser, that's Liverpudley and David Price, he came back with a fantastic bronze. And the third man, sometimes forgotten, was light heavyweight Tony Jeffries of Sunderland. I like this kid, he's a good laugh. Now, he's a pro now, and I've not spoken to him for a couple of months. I mean, now that he's got a few pro fights under his belt and the bronze medal's in a safe somewhere in a bank. He doesn't even want to talk to me, but thankfully <laughs> I've forced him to join me today. Good afternoon, Tony. Hiya, Steve. You are here, man. Yeah, good kid. Now, Tony, you're training over in Manchester Yeah. That's for right. a fight, but you had to pull out of a fight tomorrow. Is it a serious injury or just a recurring old injury? N no, it's, it's all healed now. I've got a perfect rear drum in spawn. Uh, I was spawn with Oval McKenzie. Oh, he's uh, a tough boy, Oval. He is. He's a, he's a tough one and he, he can punch you a bit as well. And he just caught us with a right hand and hit me again and put a small little hole in me, run, which is a it's, a, it's a common thing with boxers. Uh, yeah. I never knew it was, but it is. And uh, it's healed up. I seen the uh, bloke last night, the doctor last night. It's healed up now, so I'm, I'm ready ready to start spawn again. And you're boxing again on the 11th of December down in Newport, is that correct? Yeah, that, that, that's right. Uh, so I should be in good, good shape for then. I'm training for that. Now, Tony, have things slowed down? Because I can remember speaking to you about a year ago, last December, and you basically hadn't taken your GB tracksuit or your or your medal off. Have, have things slowed down since then? <laughs> it's not not really. They haven't. You know, I'm still, I'm still getting e emails uh, all the time to to uh, to do this, to, to go do and that. the event and go to schools or visit this person or visiting this. Uh, so it's it's not it's non-stop. Uh, so, but now I'm in Manchester, I can't do that because it's normally all in Sunderland. It's not a bad uh, idea, that, is it? Because you're an idol in Sunderland, so take you out of Sunderland. That way you haven't got to do something five times a day for charity. I mean, I mean that nicely. Yeah, that's it. There's, there's, there's too many distractions. And I mean, if I was up there, I would end up doing them all because I find that like, to, to uh, turn them down. Not to say but, no. uh, but you're doing some, some uh, so what is it, the shoebox thing? Is that the thing you're doing, some sort of charity thing, some sort of shoebox packing? Yeah, well, I, I, had, I had loads of Team Jeffrey's hooded tops. Oh, okay. uh, I, had about, I had about six, and uh, I heard about the shoebox pattern thing like, for presents. So I went and ordered another 20, paid for another 20 of them, and I set, sent all them across the Af Afghanistan to, uh, to the soldiers. I like that. So, I mean, you, you get this bronze medal, you know, and you've been, a, been an amateur a long time, top amateur for a long time, and suddenly you're a pro. You've been a pro, you know, almost a year, so to speak. It's just four fights. Do you get a little bit frustrated by the pace of life in the professional game? What, what do you mean by that? Like well, you know, like, do, you, do you sort of want to go forward? Do you want to fight for the British title and European titles? Do you, you know, do you find it a little bit frustrating knowing you've got another year of learning to go or more? Yeah, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, cause I'm, I'm I, I knew I, that was going to happen. Sure. When I turned pro. I, I knew I was going to. It was going to be a slow process. Uh, like it was for all, like Carl Foch and yeah. I, I, all, all, all fighters, it's always a slow process to get to the title stages. Uh, so I expected it. So I'm, I'm, I'm just enjoying it and, and trying to learn because I know myself that if I, if I did fight for a British title now or, or whatever, uh, I wouldn't be ready for it. So oh you need to get your, body, get your body right for it. Now listen, I agree. So what do you do to spend your time then? You're online a lot, playing around and stuff? I'm, uh, I'm always on, on Twitter. Twitter and all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, on t I'm on there on the PlayStation in between training. Uh, so uh, can, can people follow you? They f can people follow you on Twitter? Yeah, come and follow us. It's me. Me username is Tony underscore Jeffries, and uh, it's good. Uh, it's good to speak to people. I speak to people from London, from from the North East, from Manchester, from everywhere, and it's it's a great way to keep in touch with uh, boxing fans. And have you had any, have, you, have you had people come up to you yet and say, "Listen, you spoke, I speak to you on Tony. I speak to you on Twitter, Tony. My name's John." <laughs> I am like actually that. in Sunderland. There is the people. I'm, I'm this one from Twitter. So it's, it's, it's good, you know. It's good. To, it's, it's good to keep in touch with people. And I've seen the uh, bring back B Buncey campaign in there. Yeah, he uh, on the Twitter as well. Yeah. Yeah. So so that's that's good. Yeah. Oh. Well, listen, Tony. So good luck on the on the eleventh. We'll speak to you after that. And just um, hope that. Where'd you keep your medal? Where'd you keep your Olympic medal? Uh, my dad's got it. In the shop, I think he keeps in the safe. But like at first, I was just in in my uh, in my kitchen all the time because <laughs> I, was going all the time. I was going to rewards every every other night and take it right there and show people. <laughs> uh, but now now my dad's got to put away. <laughs> Slow down, your dad's in it. Listen, Tony Jeffries, thanks for finding a few minutes to talk to us today. Thanks very much, Tony. Cheers, Steve. Thanks, See, for thanks, kid. See you later. See you, mate. Bye. Sunderland's Tony Jeffries there giving me a bit of stick, a bit of twittering. I do love a bit of twittering on this boxing hour. You've been listening to.